Hi, this is Em from Evan2HC, and I'm back with the huge Lego set. Can you guys guess what it is? It is the Simpsons house! This is set 71006. It's recommended for ages 12 and up, and it's 2,523 pieces. The box is pretty cool. It has a bunch of these little eyeballs on it. It comes with six minifigures. Bart, Homer, Marge, Maggie, Lisa, and Ned Flanders. This looks like a pretty cool set. My parents saw it at Toy Fair. I just saw the Lego episode on TV. Okay, so here's a look at the back of the box. On top here we have the floor plan. I'm looking forward to building the pink car. Okay, let me get this thing open to show you guys what's inside. Okay, so here's what you get. You get bag number seven, bag number one, bag number four, bag number five, random pieces, bag number four, bag number six, bag number five, bag number seven, bag number one, bag number five, bag number three, bag number two, instruction booklets and some stickers, bag number three, bag number two, bag number four, Bag number six. Ah, ah, ah. Bag number seven, bag number three, and bag number two. Okay, let's build this thing. Lego Simpsons house and let's start off by showing you guys the minifigures. First up we have Homer, the head of the family. He comes with a little briefcase, he's got blue pants and a white shirt, he's got a striped tie and a little name badge. His head is not a typical minifigure head, it's actually a lot bigger. These minifigures actually look like the ones in the show. On the Lego episode they just have round minifigure heads with printing on them. These are actually molded so it looks more three dimensional. Like his nose actually sticks out. Next up we have Bart Simpson. He's got blue and yellow legs with the red t-shirt and his legs are really short and his head is all one piece with spiky blonde hair. His head and his hair kind of blend into each other so I don't really know where his face ends and where his hair starts. He just kind of has a hair head. Next up is Marge Simpson. She has a super high hairdo that kind of looks like blueberries or grapes. Looks like she's got a green outfit with an apron. She's got a red pearl necklace. Her head is one piece so you can't remove her hair. Next up we have overachiever Lisa Simpson. She comes with a little school paper that says A+. Plus. She also has a pearl necklace and a red dress. And she has short legs too. Her legs are actually two colors, yellow and red. And she's got the little spiky hair. Next up we have the 25 year old baby, Maggie Simpson. On the box she's holding a drill so I put it in her hand. 
She likes danger. Her body has one piece, a little onesie. She has a little pacifier in her mouth, and she's got a little blue bill on her head. She has the same hair as Lisa, but it doesn't look anything like Marge or Homer. And last, we get Ned Flanders. He comes with a spatula. He has a purple shirt, a green sweater, and gray pants. And he has a little apron that says hail to the chef. He's got a really big head with glasses and a mustache. Okay, now it's time to show you guys the house. And the garage connects to the house just like this. Here's a look all the way around the house. Okay, I'll separate the garage and show you guys the main part. Up here on the roof, there's an antenna and a chimney. In order to access the second floor, you can remove the roof. Under the roof, there's these little pieces that keep it from sliding off. Let's start off in the corner here in Bart's room. There's a bed, a desk, a lamp, and even a shelf. And on the desk, he has the Radio Active Man comic book. He has a little blue chair that you can move around. He's got a little red mug and a bulletin board with the calendar. He also has a Cressy the Clown poster. On the shelf, he has some books, a baseball hat, and a little radio. All these rooms have doors that can swing open. Right next to Bert's room, we have Lisa's room. She's got a bed with pink sheets. She's got two nightstands. She's got a little shelf of books and a magnifying glass. And she has a poster that says Jazz Fest, a little vanity with a mirror. It also has a little brush and a backpack. And also a camera on a monopod. Next to her room is the bathroom. There's only one bathroom, so I guess they have to share. It's got a toilet without a lid. There's a roll of toilet paper, a sink with a mirror, a little shower with hot and cold controls, and no bathtub. Next to the bathroom, we have the master suite. There's a king-sized bed with two matching nightstands. There's a little laundry basket. On the other side is Maggie's jail cell, also known as a crib. Hey, welcome to my crib. In order to see the first floor, you have to open it up. Right here on the chimney are little hinges. And you just swing it open like this. So here's the bisected house. It's kind of weird because it splits the rooms into two. So like part of Lisa's room is here and then another part is over here. Down here there's a little hallway with stairs that are leading down to the first floor. On the stairway there's a picture of Grandpa and Maggie. And the stairs lead down to the living room area. In the living room there's a TV, a couch, a vacuum cleaner made out of a droid's body, an old telephone, and an area rug. On the other side of the living room we have a purple piano with a piano bench, a bay window, and the front door. Right next to the living room we have the kitchen, on one side, we have a table with orange chairs. There's also a stove with a little pot on it. And there's also a door to the backyard. And it looks like we have a little oven. There's also a little kitchen sink and a cupboard. On the other side, we have more cabinets. And it has a pan and some other utensils. And it has another big bay window. And another cool thing is when it's open, the bathroom door leads to nothing. Ah, oh, what a relief. That feels better. I. Oh man. On the outside here, we have a little air conditioning unit. On the side, it says property of Ned Flanders. So I guess this is stolen property. On the outside, there's nice greenery, some little grass and some bushes. Okay, so that's the house part. Now let's move on to the garage part. Here's a look around town. There's a bush here and you actually can use flowers in here. To see better, you can take the roof off the garage. You also can open the garage door like this. Inside we have Homer's workshop. There's a bunch of tools. There are two little windows on the top of the garage. A little rack, some cans of paint, a broom, a little crafting table with a toolbox on it. To go along with the garage, we have Homer's car. It's a cool pink car with no roof. I hope there's no rain in the forecast. 
Let's put Marge and Homer in there. There we go. There's not really any room for the kids, but there is a trunk right here. Ugh, I think I'm gonna sit in the trunk. Ah, there's a radioactive bar! Ugh. Homer, do you think we're forgetting somebody? And the car just rolls into the driveway like this. The set also comes with some cool accessories like this barbecue. It has a little hot dog on the grill. It has a lid that can lift up. There's also a label that says property of Ned Flanders. It looks like this is more of Ned stuff that never got returned. We also get a wheelbarrow with some potted plants. This is also a property of Ned Flanders. We get a mailbox. It's got some letters coming out of it and a red flag. It also comes with two lounge chairs and two drinks. And we also get a lot of yellow utensils. We also get Bart's skateboard and ramp. So we can just put Bart on here. Let's try a little stunt here. Oh, maybe I should recalculate the distance. So that was the Lego Simpsons house, and I hope you guys liked it. Stay tuned because we're going to be opening up some of these. The Lego Simpsons minifigures. And also don't forget to check out my new series, The Great Lego Movie Adventure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.